Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Having a nice little ride out today. The weather's absolutely beautiful today. Can't grumble at all. Not been out on the bike for a while. Um, yeah, been... Uh, well, I've actually just got back from Barcelona, to be honest, for the the um, MotoGP round. Um, so, yeah, lovely day today. We're going to jump on the machine and we're going to talk about whether you could jump on one of these uh, 765 RSs, um, you know, as a first machine. You know, we're not talking about... Um, you obviously, you've got to do your test first and uh, work your way through, through your you know your uh, license and that but yeah so anyway we'll jump on on this lovely day and um, yeah have a little discussion <laughs> oh getting very warm very warm turn the old ignition on very warm always surprises me with that dash there oh what's happened there completely died then strange it's almost like the side stand switch was uh, activated then hmm interesting <laughs> hey little monk jack there just run out on the road I tell you you've got to watch them around here <laughs> You could seriously come a cropper hitting one of those. I'll tell you another thing as well. They they tend to be in pairs then. Or, you know, like in, in um, numbers. So they just sort of run out in the road and... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, like I say, just got back from Barcelona. Um, from the MotoGP round. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Weather was absolutely scorching, so a little bit sunburnt. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to reality however yeah, the weather has not been brilliant here hence why I've not been out on the bike um, so it's no fun riding in the rain and uh, yeah it's just absolutely glorious day today so uh, yeah we're going to discuss kind of like a few things really uh, in general and um, stay there hello sir absolutely perfect biking weather today perfect but yeah, anyway, where was I? You know, I was sort of talking about, you know, whether you could jump on one of these bikes after passing, uh, your, you know, your test. And uh, there's lots of other, lots of machines to choose from out there. And uh, you know, you could opt for the R, maybe. Our little monk jack there on the side of the road, been clipped. Uh, but yeah, like I say, there's lots of other machines out there you'd have to choose from. And I think the secret is really, is, um, you know, you have to go out and just test ride as many, as many machines, many model, models as you can. Just slow down a bit through here. I've often got the old speed, speed trap through here. Uh, I don't want to get caught out. I have a clean licence at the moment. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Not a good idea to say things like that, but there you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, yeah, like I say, you can go out and test ride as many bikes as you, as you like. Um, you know, I've had this bike coming on, if you follow the channel, uh, you'll, you'll sort of be aware, but you know, coming up to sort of two years, well, it'll be two years in um, December actually. I think it was December, December or anyway, round about then. And yeah, I've had no problems with this bike at all, nothing really, nothing to write home about anyway. And. Uh, you know, you've got lots of, um, I've, I've done, I think I've done about three, just over 3,000 mile at least dual service. You can see the spanner on there, I will get that done. Not too worried about that at the moment. Um, yeah, it's not that I've done loads of miles, so. Quick shifter and blip are absolutely wonderful, glorious. I, I often get asked about the blipper and the quick shifter, about it being, a, you know, a little bit sort of notchy now and then, but. I'll be perfectly honest, when I first bought the bike, it was a little bit. It was a little bit, but I don't know whether that was because I was running the bike in. Oh, get some air. Oh, it's so hot today. It's, saying, it's actually saying 19 and a half degrees on there, but I find that hard, very hard to believe. It's just jumped to 20, but really, really warm today, especially in all this gear. Uh, got a new pair of motorbike boots, actually. Some more Pine Stars. 
Uh, new boots, very comfortable. I forget what they're called now, but look at the description and that'll tell you in there. There's no link to them. Um, but I tell you, yeah, look in the description of the videos and there's all the information of all the, the gear that I wear, the, um, you know, what I use to edit the videos. Uh, lots of information there, information about about the video itself. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Interested to know your comments uh, as well. Try and get back to all of you, best I can. You know, lots of comments come through and I, I enjoy reading, I try and read, well I do actually read all of the comments and reply to all of them as best I can. Give, a, give, give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Uh, give the video a thumbs down even, uh, hopefully not, but it's all interaction, it's what we want. Lots of more content coming to the channel. Uh, I'm hoping to take out some more uh, uh, models, quite soon actually. So lots in the pipeline. Lots in the pipeline. What are those heated grips doing on? Turn them off. <laughs> Don't want them on today. There's some lovely twisty roads out here. Where are we now? Just going through Potterheim in Norfolk. Some beautiful roads, nice and sticky tyres today. Not been out for too long, but but really is nice to jump back out. I haven't been out for sure. Best part of a couple of weeks. I've been sort of busy working and that. Um, yeah, if you're considering, uh, you know, I would highly recommend getting into motorcycling. Get out, especially uh, through the summer months in the here in the UK. Anyway, you know, we do get some nice days. Um, through the winter time, it's not so. You know, you just have to pick pick the days best and when you can, really. But yeah. I mean, this this really would make an absolutely ideal beginner bike. You could even opt for the R. They make an R model as well, with, which is I'm not sure if it's lower power than this. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if uh, if, if you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know. Stay there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean you've got all the rider modes, so you can put it on road or rain, soften it down a little bit, which. Uh, you know, just, just to sort of cover your back there with the traction control. It changes the, changes the map a little bit as well. But yeah, I mean, a lovely riding position on here. You, I could sit on this, for, I mean, I have done. I've sat on it for hours. Uh, you don't, you don't, I don't tend to suffer with, uh, with a, a sore ass at all. <laughs> Not really. A lovely day. Got the performance there for the overtakes. Slow down a bit. This bike seems to work very well when the revs are up high as well. It it's, it's not this. It's actually get, you know quite a, a very easy bike to ride low down. You know, well, it's an easy bike to ride full stop. It's one of those bikes you can just jump on, not have to think about stuff too much. You don't even need the clutch on this. Well, obviously you do to pull away and to stop it, to stop on that. But I'm just going down with a the blipper there. Not, you know, it's just so easy. Up the gearbox, nice and smooth. Obviously that quick shif shifter works better up shifting when the revs are up there. Uh, I did have a comment recently actually about someone saying that the quick shifter is less harmful to the gearbox. You know, when it's uh, set up, well, I'm not too sure about that. I think certainly not when the revs are, are low, lower, you know. I don't tend to use it. I tend to use, I tend to use uh, the clutch at lower speeds, but really is a, a really comfortable bike to ride this. Suspension on this, I've not adjusted any of the suspension on this either. So it's all standard suspension set up from the, it's right out of the factory. Uh, not had to t uh, tinker with it, mind you. I've not been on the track with uh, with a bike, so that's something that I will potentially be doing. So I'll uh, maybe get some footage there at some point. It's just a matter of finding the time, really. There's so much going on at the moment. You know what with work commitments and that sort sort of thing, and obviously I'll try and get videos in uh, when and when I where and when I can, really. 
but um, I, I do aim to get a lot more reviews in. Oh, I'm on the old drain covers. That's something I've noticed on this route before. This is, just seems to be drain covers everywhere coming through here. But yeah, I'm happy to be out again, what I keep saying. <laughs> oh, smell the old farm there. Jesus. suffering with the old hay fever as well with the pollen count it's very high at the moment so uh well he's off a bit brakes are still squeaking just some, something you have to live with on these i think still got the original pads on here original tires as well completely original standard lovely Cost of fuel's going through the roof now as well. I mean, you, to be fair, it's noticeable now when you fill up your motorbike as well. I mean, generally when <coughs> when I used to fill up the bike, I'd probably just put about, I don't know, 15 pounds in, something like that. I mean, now I'm looking at <coughs> God, putting a fair, fair old wedge on top of that now. Crazy. But uh, it's not why we ride mo motorcycles really to be worrying about that. You know, I, I, I don't commute to work on this bike. This purely is for, le uh, for fun. <coughs> Excuse me. That is for fun uh, and uh, pleasure. Ride, ride out really. I say, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the old um, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Be good to have you along. Feel free, plenty more videos on the channel there. And uh, yeah, have a look. So yeah, my, my views on this bike, you could actually you could actually jump on this bike uh, as a new rider. Obviously you need the license, so you'd have to do your CBT. You'd have to do your, you know, your uh, a lot of riding schools, they do the whole package nowadays. Uh, forget the age now here in the UK where you know that you have to be in order to uh, to do your direct access test let me know in the comments uh, have you gone down that route how did you get on with it you know did you jump straight on something like this maybe or did you work your way through other models I mean, i've had lots of other models of bikes and uh, i'll say plenty on the channel with other other me, me other bikes and that um, and this, so far, it's so good with this one. No plans on swapping it in at the moment. But yeah. Another thing, like I so said, what I do really like about this is it's just so effortless to ride. And it, it, it is really, spe it's specced out really, really well. That blipper is just butterly smooth as well. Hello, it's first. Up the gearbox as well through that quick shifter. Beautiful. Well, anyway, I really do appreciate you joining me today on this uh, little ride out. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. So, take care. See you soon.